Hey YouTube, welcome to my second tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll, I'll be discussing how to make a terrain map for Euroscope. Basically, it is a, a fancy overlay to describe the terrain of a particular area. Mostly, we can use this for flight service stations or uh, control areas if you are controlling. Uh, it is not necessary, you can use even contour lines, but this just gives a fancy touch to the uh, map and you can enjoy more controlling. So, let's get started. So if you have seen my uh, previous tutorial, the process in this one is 90% same of the previous tutorial, just one more additional step you have to do to uh, make an image overlay in the Google map and rest is pretty much the same. So first we'll go to uh, sky vector and uh, take a screenshot of the uh, VFR a world VFR map of the uh, area you want to make the terrain map of. So I'll just take press print screen, select the area that I want to take the uh, uh, select the area for which I want to make a map of and save it. So the image gets saved. This image will import into Google Maps and then uh, continue the process further. Okay, so we are now in Google Earth. The first thing that I do is go about go to my places and a folder called Delhi terrain press ok then go to add image overlay browse select that image of the sky vector that you have you had captured So I have aligned the image uh, with the map and the next thing what we do is uh, create polygons to make a map of the terrain. So uh, we click on uh, create polygon, go to style and color, click on col color, click on pick screen color and then move your mouse to the terrain. Once you get the color, uh, left click on it and then click OK. Since this is a tutorial video, I won't be demonstrating you in depth. But uh, if you want to go into detail, you can zoom in and go in, go as far as possible and create uh, uh, more accurate terrain maps. But in this one, I'll just show you a small portion how to do it and then uh, you can continue doing it. So the base layer is the uh, lowest uh, altitude. How terrain map works is uh, as the color gets darker, that means the altitude is increasing. So more darker color is equal to more altitude. So since green is the base layer, that means uh, it is almost at ground level. So we st always start from the uh, bottom towards up. That's why I've taken uh, this uh, green color first. Left click, drag and follow the uh, line of the terrain in the map. So far, I have done 4 to 5 layers. So, to see how it has turned up, just disable the image overlay and you'll see that the terrain um, has been mapped. So, next thing what you do is click on the folder that we had created, save place as, click uh, save type as KMZ and click OK. So, now we need to convert this into uh, the sector file format. So uh, the website to do is fsmine, go to fsmine.org.thsis.org, click on uh, Euroscope Sector Converter, click on Upload Your Layout, select Choose File, select your file, start upload. Since there are no errors, we'll just download the sector file. So this is the sector file format of our uh, terrain map. So what we need to do is now is uh, copy and paste, copy and paste it in the uh, our main sector file. So I'll open the uh, Asia West FSS sector file and to test it out. Go to. Uh, 
so simply select all copy and go to the last part of the sector file and simply paste it so to activate the terrain map uh, we need to go to GNE UNL and uh, activate the regions uh, section so as you can see we have successfully created the terrain map for the sector file it looks pretty amazing and is also fun to control with this concludes the tutorial for making a terrain map for your sector file if you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button uh, this is the university pilot signing off